here to bring you a new tutorial on how to get some hard distorted sounding 808s in FL Studio. This is going to be similar to the vibes you hear from XXX Tentacion, Scarlord, Ski Mask, The Slump Guy, you know, those kind of guys. So we're going to get that same kind of distorted bass. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and hit 20k subscribers very, very soon. So let's start into the tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is focus on the 808. So I already have the beat. Uh, I have a Scarlord beat that I've already pretty much created. So the only thing that's on here is the Fruity Soft Clipper. Ignore all this other stuff. I don't know why I had it, but we're just going to have the Fruity Soft Clipper on here. And I'm going to play the beat. Make sure probably you might want to lower down your headphones or your speakers if you're listening to it on either or, but just keep that in mind. Alright, so now that you hear how it sounds like, we're going to just start everything in order with the 808. So let's right click and just solo with the 808. Initially, this is what the 808 sounds like. So yeah, the 808 that I have is pretty bass heavy, but you know, we want to have something very distorted and aggressive and loud. So the first thing we're going to do is just take care of some of the high end frequency in the 808 because we're just going to clean it up a little bit before we add our own distortion. So I just brought that into about 500 Hertz and we can bring it back just to show you. So yeah, we're just cleaning up the 808. The next thing we're going to do, which is the essential key to get the distorted 808, is going to be the Fruity Blood Overdrive. Now, these are the settings you want to have um, to get that loud distortion. What's going to activate the distortion on it is going to be the preamp. The amount of preamp you add on here is going to be how aggressive the distortion is going to be. Now, with the times 100, this thing is going to turn it is going to blast your 808 so that's why i say turn down your volume before we start this without it this is what the a this is what the distortion sounds like with um you know with the preamp all the way down and how it is right here make sure you have your color all the way up and the post gain all the way up the post filter you just want to have that down because we don't want to filter out the distortion so let's go ahead and bring up the preamp So yeah, that eight, like how it sounds like right now is already pretty amazing, but we're going to be aggressive. We're going to get 10 times. We're going to be a hundred times harder with the distortion. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn down your headphones for this part. So we got it all the way on. So now that you hear that, the, the distortion is just wild on here. But in order to control it, you want to have a good amount of distortion, but you don't want to ruin your beat. You don't want the whole thing to be covered in static and fizz throughout the whole thing because you do have melodies and hi-hats that will clash within the frequencies. So we're going to play the um, all the other sounds. So we're going to right click just to turn everything back on. And this is what it sounds like without the multiband compression that's going to you know, level off some of those unneeded frequencies. So now that you hear, you can hear that the distortion is killing a lot of the melody, really the hi-hats and the snares, you can barely hear it. So we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna load in Maximus. And Maximus is just a multi-band compressor for those who are new to using Maximus. So the first thing you want to do is just go to the master and bring the band all the way up to zero. The high band, uh, what you want to do is, is pretty much an ear game. You have to really test with your ears and see how much compression you need in, in each of these bands. 
So with the high bend, we're just going to solo it and play it with the other elements of the beat. So now we have that, we're gonna focus on the mid. And there is a lot of mid in here. So what we can do is just bring the band down to negative three. But like I said, with distortion, it's really an ear game. Uh, you have to test it out, see what sounds good with your beat. I'm pretty much doing this tutorial with headphones, so it's kind of hard to just, um, really pinpoint what is perfect for this specific sound but originally i have it set at zero which i found was good when i played it through my monitors so we're going to keep it at zero and then with the low band what you want to do it just make sure you don't really want to compress this you just still want to have the bass in it the distortion your 808 is basically going to fill the mid and the high frequency and playing it together with it And what we're gonna do is to control the overall 808. So I loaded up a fruity limiter, brought the release all the way down to zero, and just kept everything as is. So we're just gonna make sure that the 808 is pretty much gonna be a solid block. It's the whole thing is gonna be distorted sound. So that's what we're doing with the limiter. <laughs> And once we do that, you want to bring your bass down to negative six or wherever you feel is best for your beat. It depends. Like this can vary because the bass is so distorted and you have a variation of different sounds. So that's pretty much my method to get, you know, to get the same sound as Scarlord, um, X, Ski Mask, you know, just to get that same sound. This is my method in order to get distorted 808s. If this was very helpful to you guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. If you're new, if you come here back and forth and you haven't subscribed and you haven't hit the bell notification icon, don't know what you're doing, but go ahead and do that. But I'll catch you guys on the next video.